What's up and welcome back to my channel, it's Jamie CEO. Ignore my belly, I've just had dinner. I'm still in the office, probably. This never tells the time. It is 9.47, 9.47. I've got a couple of videos to do and then um, run through some other bits. I've, bro, I've been on the phone, like Zoom calls after Zoom calls after Zoom calls after Zoom calls and just perfecting the craft. You know, there's that thing, the whole thing of... Um, Michael Jordan always doing threes on the court, but it's the hours that goes in behind. It's the same thing here, man. You know, people would see the success stories. People would see the flex, if you want to call it that. They don't see this grind. Do you know what I mean? They don't see this grind. Honestly, I don't advise it. I actually haven't slept for 24 hours straight. I'm not chatting shit. I haven't slept. God is my witness for 24 hours straight. Not because I wanted to do that, but I've just struggled. Like my dreams, my ambitions are keeping me up. But anyways, um, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, right? It's not a um, it's not a clickbait. I am selling all my properties. Well, it is a clickbait in a way, right? When I say I'm selling all my properties, I mean my UK properties. Um, I'm selling them and we'll get into the reasons why right now. So... Um, if you're new to the channel, you would know that I'm a big advocate for property investing. And now I'm saying I'm selling my properties. So you're thinking, hold on, well, you talk properties all the time. So why are you selling your properties? Um, it's for a number of reasons. Um, first one being, I think the property market is extremely hot now. And if I'm honest with you, I'd like to release some funds. Some of my properties have appreciated in value. And it's only right that I actually cash in during this Property bull run, if you want to call it that. Um, obviously, with all the stamp duty extensions and lower interest rates and popping up the sort of property market, it's a seller's market. Those of you that keep an eye on the property market would know how hot it is. Mate, I had an incident where uh, a, a partner of mine up north, uh, he's an estate where he owns the estate agent. He told me that the vendor rejected an offer that was £2,000 less than asking i think the property was like 80 grand and the vendor rejected seven to eight thousand and the only reason i could come down to i need to go to the gym but anyways the only reason i could come to was simply um the vendor knew that he was going to get a lot more than the asking price so even though he's got it at 80 to make it seem attractive um due to like you know bidding wars and the zumping and so on and so forth he's probably going to end up getting 83 84 85 which is quite significant. It's around what seven, um, five to seven percent more than the asking price, if not more. Um, you probably might even end up getting ninety, ninety-five plus, which would you know represent over ten to twelve percent above the asking price. So that tells you in a nutshell how hot the market is, and I want to take advantage of that. But more importantly, right, I'm done. I'm actually done with properties, but single units so i'm a big fan of grant cardone if you don't know him go google him the 10x king right and he talks about big deals and i've always been talking about big deals in fact i've previously done a video somewhere just click it you find it it's on the channel um i've previously done a video basically talking about the different steps in property and i feel like i've just stayed at the entry level for the longest you know vanilla buy to lets and or vanilla property investment, if you want to call it that. And I've just stayed there and I've not really progressed much. Outside of the UK, I have progressed tremendously. But other than that, I've not really progressed much. So I thought I'm definitely going to change things around. And you're thinking, okay, so he's not really selling his whole portfolio and sitting on his hands. What's he going to do now? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is the two-prong strategy. I'm going to go into um, um, flats, buying blocks of flats and immediately after that once i'm comfortable with it i'm going to go into um um, um construction like building um, new developments and stuff i think that's what i want to do now i think i'm done with the small deals like, i mean if i'm honest with you don't get me wrong um small deals is a great way of getting into the market and so on and so forth but you should have bigger ambitions than that you know rather than taking 400 pound or 800 pound of property or whatever the case is why don't you concentrate your effort you know for me i don't care about the individual properties when i talk about oh i want a, a thousand doors i'm talking about in total like i'm not talking about i want a thousand properties i'm saying i want a thousand doors so that means if i buy a block of flats that has nine flats in there 
that's nine flats counting towards my thousand doors and that's all in one complex it's easy to manage you know i can concentrate my effort and if anything that it's actually more profitable and you're thinking how let's do the maths on it so let's talk about generally speaking vanilla investments right um in terms of what the acceptable rental income is on some of these properties so right if you're investing up north straight by to let letting it out to a family on a 80 grand house you're probably depending on the area some areas are really poor you're probably getting anywhere from 350 pounds to around 550 pounds on an 80 grand property so let's take the middle mark of let's say 425 pounds i think it's a fair it's a fairer um sort of valuation or let's say 450 it's a fairer sort of um guess in terms of how much you'd be making and if you disagree with this video feel free to pop up i'm saying vanilla i'm not saying doing no buy to um i'm not i'm, I'm not saying doing no hmos i'm saying buy the property and rent it to a single family that's what i call a vanilla buy to let deal right so that's how much you're making and now if we get our calculators out if we get our calculators out and we sort of work the numbers out on that. Ignore my t-shirt if it's got a lot of fluff, right? Um, for those of you that don't know how to work out yield and ROIs, um, so yield is your um, profit. Well, yeah, yield is your profit divided by the property price um, and then times by 100. And then your ROI is your profit divided by how much you put into the deal times by 100. That's really it. Um, but anyway, so on 450 on an 80 grand house, your interest only is probably around 150 pounds roughly um so let's say 450 minus 150 pounds that leaves you with around 300 pounds um and now on top of that let's say um let's take out another 10 percent of 450 for management fees and so on and so forth um, so that's minus another forty-five pounds. So you're making two hundred and fifty-five pounds on that property deal on eighty grand. So two hundred and fifty-five times twelve, two five five times twelve. Oops, two five five times twelve gives you just over three thousand, three thousand sixty pounds, right? And now divide it by the property value. That's eighty thousand times a hundred. That gives you three point eight percent yield. That is dog shit. I'm sorry. That is dog shit. But believe it or not, that's what a lot of people get on their properties. So buy to lets in terms of vanilla buy to lets isn't as attractive as people think it is. Um, don't get me wrong, obviously that's better than what you would get from the banks. But sometimes actually you can get better interest rates than that from certain banks. Right? But anyways, that's that. You know, so you look at that number, you're thinking, that's crazy, I'm 80 grand. I could put my 80 grand to better work. So that's an example. However, now I'll give you an example, right? Um, I was looking at a property. Well, I looked at a property that someone else done. Um, it was quite an interesting deal. They picked up the block of flats, nine flats, nine bedrooms for around 190,000, spent about another 70 grand renovating. Um, and so the total spend was around uh, 260,000, right? Out of the nine flats, six flats, where actually well actually hold fire before we even talk about the rental income or what the six flats were let's do the numbers on them so that's fully you know down to a a rentable standard um 270 grand divide divide nine that will tell you how much each each flat is worth there you go thirty thousand pounds so now compare it right obviously i know yeah these are one bedroom flats and so on and so forth but it's going to get more interesting once i break down the number but thirty thousand pounds you're going to make the same rent on these flats as compared to what you do in an 80 grand house do the numbers so that 80 grand is getting you almost three of these but that 80 grand would only make you 450 pounds whereas you could make potentially anywhere from 400 to 450 pounds per flat so think about how far your money could stretch. Think about the ROI on that. You know, so that's what I find interesting with blocks of flats. Um, so now, you know, 260 grand invested, 
Um, he's doing, uh, let's say his interest is around maybe anywhere from 500 to 700. I'm not too sure. I don't have, a cal uh, I don't have an interest rate calculator next to me. Um, but let's say 700, upper end, 700, right? So at, on those flats, six of them are um, uh, one bedroom flats. The other ones are two bedroom flats. The other three are two bedroom flats. I think the two bedroom flats were like 475 to 500. But for, for the ease of calculation and for, argue, oh, for argument's sake, let's just run it all at 450, right? So 450 times nine, that gives you around 4,000 pounds. Um, 4,000 pounds remove uh, 700 pounds and whatever additional cost you may have, may even take out another 800 pounds from that, for example. That gives you um, 2,500 on that block of flat times 12, gives you around 30,000 a year, which is about right, you know, about 30,000 a year, um, divide 260,000 times 100, 11.7% or 0.8%. So big difference, isn't it? From 3.8 to 11%. And mate, even if you take, took the number down a bit more, even if it was 8%, it's still double, more than double what you're getting on the same sort of single purchase. So that's one of the reasons why I started getting into it. For me, it's about working harder and not smarter. Always going through the process of, you know, credit checks and, 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 and this and this paperwork and that paperwork. I've just thought, I'd rather just hear it all in one go. Um, I might be putting down, apologies, I might be putting down more money, you know, so for some people it might not be as easily attainable and it's probably more attainable to go for a single flat but for me it's simple the bigger money you put into a deal the bigger the profits are and so I'm, I'm done with all the single purchases and so on and so forth that's the first reason so I just thought to break it down and give you guys this long long last explanation the second reason is believe it or not I'm actually looking to move away from the UK I haven't made my mind in terms of where but I am considering Africa, that being Ghana, that being Nigeria, but obviously then travel around Africa. Um, and also I'm considering the US. Um, there's two reasons behind my move. Um, actually, I'll get into it in another video. Um, but there's, there, there's several reasons behind my moves or behind my intention to move. So I thought if I moved, trying to stay on top of all these properties and manage them would be a nightmare. So what better way can I have an easier time with the property game and still make it extremely profitable is with that. Um, also, on another video, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to buy my first three deals without putting a penny down of my own money. I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to do it. Yeah. So make sure you click somewhere up here and, and watch those. So watch the reason why I'm moving, but also watch how I'm going to get to these deals without actually putting down my own money. So my target is getting the first three blocks of flats and then hopefully things should get easier from then. Um, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rejig my property plans. I'm going to rejig my financial um, forecast for the year and all of that stuff just to take into consideration the new direction. Um, but that's really it. I think you guys should consider it. If you do have a bit of cash, consider it. Um, you know, I, I, I don't I, I don't really want to do like service accommodation because again it's just it's very intensive in terms of the management. So I thought, what can I get into that is not as intensive? You know, you could have twelve months, eighteen months contract with these flats, get some good tenants in there, professional tenants, decent standards, and you just don't have to be dealing with um, lower profits on single houses or you know, or just the, the, the jazz with regards to, you know, service accommodation, even though potentially you can make more money. So that's that anyways. That's why I'm getting rid of everything and I'm starting again. Um, should be interesting to see where I'll be five years from now. I'm not always going to stay by in nine bedroom flats, you know. So eventually the plan is to go into, you know, the whole complex. Oh, okay. What, there's 50 flats in this, in this estate. I'll take it, you know. And, you know, um... Grant Cardone has been an inspiration and hopefully even like once I sort of master that game in the UK, I'm actually looking to take it over to the US and just replicate the same. Especially if I'm correct, like the US you're getting like 5%, you know, investment mortgages and so on and so forth. It's, uh, it's an investor's dream. 
Um, but yeah, that's that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you watched till the end, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe, and make sure you watch the other two videos. Let's go.